All right, this morning I want to cover <clears throat> this error here in MongoDB. Couldn't connect to server and it produces an IP and then the port number source mongo shell mongo.js exception connect failed. Um, this is something that probably new Mongo developers will get uh, maybe a little bit. And I, I totally understand. I worked with SQLite, I believe it was a year and a half ago. And it, it made no sense because unlike SQL Server, you have to run SQL Server Engine in order to connect to it. And Mongo works the same way. Um, but there are databases that know it's just a file that it gets written to, so you don't have to start the engine. And I can totally understand why new developers might be a little confused. So let's debug this really fast. Uh, I saw a lot of people ask questions about this, so I decided to cover it. Um, if I run Mongo, it will fail, and you'll see this error, right? The reason is because I don't have MonGod running. Let me show you. Um, that's what I call it is MonGod, but it's probably not the name of it. Anyway, um, this right here is the engine, right? This needs to be running in order to connect to Mongo. So, uh, wrong screen. Okay, so now that I fired it up, and you'll see now it's waiting for connections. Let me go back to my command prompt and type in Mongo. And you'll notice that I can now connect to databases. And I just approve that. I can say show collections and ta-da. Okay, so, and again, I, I totally understand if you've always worked with something like SQLite or you've worked with those databases that just write to a file or a local file, it might be a little confusing because SQL Server will be the same thing. If you want to get a SQL error, go to the configuration manager in SQL Server, turn off, um, let's say if it's SQL Server Express, turn off SQL Express, and then try to connect to SQL Server and you'll get the same error. Or uh, build an application in C Sharp and try to connect to it and you'll get the same error because it's turned off. Uh, so I totally get why some people might find this confusing and I saw a lot of people asking questions about this like I don't understand and it's because MongoD needs to be running so the server needs to be running in order to connect to it. Yes, that's different than some databases where it may just be writing directly to a file.